Our look into COVID-19 violations against restaurants around Western Mass now turns to the city of Chicopee. Western Mass News reporter Leon Purvis obtained new information and has the very latest. Here in Chicopee, the number one violation has been face masks not being properly worn at restaurants. Now, one owner I spoke to says the written notice he received stemmed from a complaint. An anonymous person called up and said that people, you know, some of they weren't wearing masks. I don't know who my accuser or who called up. The owner of Jocko's Place, William Santanello, speaking with Western Mass News about the COVID-19 written notice he received from the Chicopee Health Department last month. The paperwork obtained by Western Mass News says the city found customers at Jocko's Place not properly wearing face coverings, social distancing, or ordering food with their alcoholic beverages. But Santanello thinks this complaint stemmed from a rival business. I feel it's a competitor or somebody who's unfortunately not open or sees that I'm open and either called the health department and you know said that people aren't wearing masks. At Jocko's place, there are signs that say people must order food, stay six feet apart, and wear a mask. The Chicopee Health Director tells Western Mass News in a statement, these notices were sent as the result of a complaint either through an email a phone call and sometimes from the Department of Labor. No business received a fine. Our main goal is to educate. But Santanello says he'd like to know more about the complaint process. Anybody could come here and say they, you know, somebody's not wearing a mask. I'd like to know who, you know, who's saying it and, and, and confront that person. Jocko's place isn't alone. Since May, the Chicopee Health Department has issued 40 face covering violations. Of those two restaurants received a second notice of violation, but no fines have been issued. One restaurant cited twice is Brothers Pizza, first in June, then in October. A second notice of violation states employees are still not properly wearing face coverings. Romano's Pizza also receiving two notices of violation, first in July, then again in October. In their letter from the city also stating that employees are still not properly wearing face coverings. Now we reached out to both Brothers and Romano's, but both declined to comment. In Chicopee, Leon Purvis, Western Mass News.